When was the last time you went to buy a car and found exactly what you wanted? Because of the vast number of options, most customers end up compromising, like buying a color they don't want or paying for a premium radio they don't need. Why do modern day factories manufacture an abundance of product that sits as inventory, yet they still don't have exactly what the customer wants? Not having just what the customer wants isn't a new problem. While Henry Ford may have been the first lean manufacturer, he produced vehicles for the masses. The rule of business back then dictated high volume at low cost. As Ford shipped vehicles out to dealers, he also kept the plant pumping out more. Ford assumed that economies of scale would make bigger factories even more cost effective. This meant buying the biggest presses available to stamp out huge volumes of parts. Mass production lowered individual piece prices, and this was great when there was unlimited demand, but not so good as the demand dipped. The problem with mass production thinking is that people are focused on optimizing pieces of the system instead of looking at the whole value stream. A value stream map follows the flow of raw material, inventory, and information within a factory, or all the way to the final customer. Value stream mapping, a tool developed by Toyota, is now being adopted throughout the world. Mike Rother and John Shook, two lean enterprise experts, made the mapping technique widely available through their teaching and books. This tool allows you to diagram your current value stream, identify the bottlenecks that prevent you from making what your customers want when they want it, and then it helps you develop a vision of what your future lean system should look like. 